Check. I'm Justin Broderick. I'm guitar and vocals for Godflesh. I'm Paul Neville and I play guitar and guitar for Godflesh. And this is Cal Los Angeles. And we're about to play the country oh, club, cool, California, Los Angeles. We're probably the heaviest thing people are ever going to hear in a coherent sense. I mean, there's loads of bands that just tune down and like, Bleh. but like we've actually got sound there, and it's actually unique, and it is fucking heavy. We just present people with a lot of harsh, vivid visuals that we can relate to of things we really like and then just present it to people in, we amalgamate all this stuff and then just shove it in people's faces and say, oh, what do you think? And we're not saying to people, think this, we're saying, what do you think? So we're trying to say, we're trying to provoke a reaction. My existence is based upon like a, a sort of paranoid outlook on things. But I see like paranoia as awareness in a sort of in a similar, I mean, basically uh, there is no dividing line really, I guess. I see being, as, being totally paranoid as being totally aware. We just like intense images, something that's like really strong. That's yeah, before. everything we use is intense and extreme because that's the only things we can relate to is extremities. The press in England yeah, has been really, really favourable and in Europe in general. The press in America is probably even more favourable, I think, in a way. I think we're getting better press in the States. We're getting better received. <laughs> <laughs> the slayer comes bursting out of any... That's all right. It's right. good, Slayer just burst in on it, it's pretty cool. <laughs> 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 Our bass player, I mean, he listens to Beach Boys religiously. I mean, he loves the Beach Boys. I mean, he collects all the CDs. He loves the Beach Boys. And if that's probably the most extreme, far away thing we could think of. Um, but then again, in a lot of the purity in their sound and stuff, the way they do things is probably very close to what we do sometimes. We played the Killdozer once, I don't know if you're familiar with it, people are familiar with Killdozer. But we, and we played like a lot louder than Killdozer. And we played with like full, something like 8,000 watts, total full power. And uh, we know of, of one person in the audience who actually lost their hearing that night, totally. There was uh, apparently a, a couple of women who actually orgasmed through the, through the volume.
I don't know, I'd like to add thanks to Hard and Heavy for being on this video because, I mean, we probably don't fit into the whole genre really that well. But um, it's great to see that we are. I mean, that, that, cause this has crossed over instantly already. This is, this is causing something which is different. Uh, and something to add is just for uh, it's just for people to to start appreciating and opening their heads to something to something unusual. You know, for for people who are just who just solely listen to metal who are watching this video, I'd like them to to listen to Godflesh and just appreciate something which is more mindlessly heavy. So if people want heaviness, and they've got it here. I mean, there's nothing heavier. But uh, we're not saying that on a sort of we're the heaviest band in the world. Bleh. We're not going for that angle. We're just going for we're Godflesh and this is what we do. Horton's got plans for you. <laughs>